All right, so <clears throat> it was really good to be back out there. Our players were excited. Um, I think kind of like we've said a lot throughout the year, we have a really special team, cool players, you know, that love practicing, love being around each other. So um, it was it was pretty good after recruiting, after this break, all the stuff going on. Um, to be back out there was awesome today. Lane, just kind of following this recruiting season, and it really seems like the transfer portal has obviously become a major part of this. And I'm uh, just interested to get your thoughts on that. Well, I mean, I, I don't think people really say it this way, but let's not make a mistake. I mean, we have free agency in college football, and the kids a lot of times go to where they're going to get paid the most. So no one else is saying that maybe, but – you know, to kids say, this is what I'm getting here for NIL, you know, and so what we really have, it is what it is, you know, free agency has been created in college football, you know, I can go, except you can't lock people into a contract, you know, they can go at any time, so it's a new world that we're in, you know, and sometimes they want to come to you and say, hey, I'm, I get this much money if I go there, so this is just a whole, whole new thing to deal with. So, Lane, along those lines, how, how do you manage a class when you set out? Uh, to, what's the balance between the high school kids, the portal, the wait and see, and, and all of that? How, how do you handle that? Um, you know, they did give relief this year with the extra ones, you know, so – and getting out on the road, you know, there's a lot of frustration with junior college coaches. High school coaches have a lot of frustration because, you know, they feel like kids that were right on that, you know – bottom level of getting the offers and going places and the bottom of the classes now aren't because people aren't, you know, because they're using them up on transfers. So now they got high school kid, you know, high school kids with nowhere to go where they had places. So, um, like anything, usually when you create something to, you know, solve this issue over here, it creates other issues. So there, there's a lot of issues with it and, you know, <clears throat> You got your own guys, and, and now you're dealing with guys that, you know, they want to go, but you still want them to play in the game, you know, and practice and stuff. So now we really have guys in the free agency market going around to visits that are still practicing playing here, you know. And at least in the NFL, there's free agent contracts, so they know what it is and they got to sign it versus these places saying, hey, when you come here, you're going to get this much money and then when they get there, do they really get it? I mean, a contract. So, very new world. Not even sure how to ask this, but you mentioned NIL and guys coming in saying, hey, I'm getting this at school X. How competitive can you be in regards to that right now? Are you even able to address that? Um, you know, you can just <clears throat> talk about what people have gotten, um, you know, and uh, – but we can't direct that. And, you know, we're not going to sit here and make promises that you're going to come here and get this much money because once they're signed, then they're locked in to go there, but they're not getting the money. So um, we're, we're kind of staying out of that world that uh, other people are going into. Lane, what can you tell us about uh, Jeff Levy's involvement with bowl preparation moving forward? Yeah, he'll coach the game. You know, we're happy for him. Um, going back to his alma mater, um, you know, great opportunity for him. He's done an unbelievable job here. And so <clears throat> he's going to finish this thing off, um, you know, which is awesome, which is kind of basically this team, like we've talked about, you know, just no matter what it takes, you don't, you're not seeing players opt out. You know, it's a special team, and um, he's a huge part of that. So he's doing work there. Um, he'll be back later this week. And, um, you know, we, we respect – you know, kind of dual scheduling with him so he can get that job and, and do this too. Um, similar to what has happened. Usually it's a head coach, you know, like being in Alabama when you get a head job or something, but we're doing it with a coordinator. Do you have any qualities you're looking for in, in Jeff's replacement, and do you kind of have a timeline in mind of when you kind of want to get that job done? I don't. We've been busy recruiting. We want to make the right hire. Um, so I really don't have any information on that. Except for those are big shoes to fill. You know, he's done a great job. 
I saw a little bit of practice this morning. It looks like y'all were putting a focus on maybe some of the younger guys, getting them reps. Can you just kind of give us an overview of when things will shift to game preparation, things like that? Yeah, the first – we're going to practice <clears throat> for two days then have Wednesday off, um, you know, so they get – there's not too many days in a row because they've missed a lot of days. So this is really more like a training camp, giving everybody opportunities and stuff. You know, then it'll be kind of a middle ground, um, and then obviously get closer to the game, more game planning. If you had any conversations with any players about opt-outs and just kind of in general, how do you approach those conversations when they come up? Yeah, we, we've had zero. So, um, and I would assume we won't have any based off of – you know, people practicing today. So I think that says a lot about this team, you know, and these guys, how, how serious this is, how important it is. And, you know, you get to go play in the Sugar Bowl with a chance to win the Sugar Bowl and win more games than has ever been done in the history of the school. That's a pretty cool thing to be a part, part of. I just wanted to ask one more thing about the portal. With that thing being so much in play now, and you alluded to it as free agency, I mean, does it does it diminish signing day and does it stretch the recruiting season for a particular class out into the spring and even beyond? I think it totally does because there's no transfer, transfer signing date. They, they don't sign an NIL again because they've already signed one. So there's not really a system in place there to say, okay, hey, here they're going to all sign Wednesday. You know, so they're – you know, still going in. They're going to keep going in. I'm sure they're going to go in after their bowl games. I mean, every day someone new goes in. So um, I, I don't think signing day will be as big as, as it used to be because you're going to, you know, that's basically your draft class, but then you're going to have your free agent class. So, um, you know, it's going to be really different. And there's not going to be a date to know your free agent. Free agency doesn't end. So, you know, like, our starting center showed up in August, whatever it was. No deal. Are you in favor of a transfer window, meaning where is a, whatever date is arbitrarily assigned, that that's the last day that someone could come in and be eligible to play that season? Uh, yeah, there's got to be something. I'm sure there will be. I mean, it's just – I mean, just like right now, you're playing – you're practicing for bowl games. You know, we have a player not here today because he's – still on his official visit to another place. Just really think about that, you know. And so very, very strange, you know, or I leave a recruiting weekend this weekend to fly really quick to go see someone that's at another school. So, um, but it's in the portal. So it's just, it's very, you know, just a lot of things happening from what initially, you know, was a good idea to help the kids. And I've said this before, it's happened. It's going to happen more than ever. This sounds great for the kids. There's going to be thousands of kids in the portal with no scholarships and nowhere to go. So they basically gave up their scholarship and they're going to have nothing because they're advised that they're going to have all these things and they're really not.